the Cup comes home. The Avs are Stanley Cup champions, and now the city is planning a parade. We're expecting literally hundreds of thousands of Avs fans to descend upon downtown. What organizers are asking you not to bring the celebration. Championship gear is in high demand. Today has been crazy. People are taking them out of the boxes and buying them right out of the boxes. Where do you want to check out to get your swag in time for the parade? Plus, a beloved grandmother lost in a horrific crash. The driver who caused it? given no jail time. They made us feel like our mom's life didn't matter. Tonight, the DA who prosecuted the case is facing a recall. And that is the sight that Avs fans have been waiting 21 years to see. That's Gabe Landeskog lifting the Stanley Cup above his head as he and the rest of the team returns to Denver as champions. And celebrations in Denver lasted well into the evening last night. Now, while most of the crowd was well-behaved, there were a couple moments the police had to get involved. McGregor Square had to be cleared out before fans could set fire to a pile of chairs and tables. And many of those people would end up at 21st and Market. That's what you're seeing here. Some fans shooting off fireworks in the street. But DPD says the night ended with just a single arrest. And of course, the party continues on Thursday when the Avs give the Cup a tour of downtown Denver. The ticker tape parade will begin at 10 a.m. Now, fans are encouraged to arrive much, much earlier. The route will start at Union Station. It will end at Civic Center Park with a big celebration and speeches. The team and the Stanley Cup itself will wind down 17th and Broadway. With the city expecting hundreds of thousands of people to attend, police say they have a robust plan to keep the parade and people safe. We will have uh, heavy